In our videos on geography, we explain some of the direct effects of geography on GDP per capita, working through things like disease, resources, and trade. Geography, however, certainly isn't everything. In our video on institutions, we gave the classic example of North and South Korea, the same geography but totally different GDP per capita because the institutions were totally different. Today I want to give another example, the reversal of fortune, namely the fact that some countries which were rich in the past are poor today, and some countries which were poor in the past are rich today, despite the fact that geography hasn't changed. Later, we'll then ask, could geography have an indirect effect through its effect on institutions? But today, the reversal of fortune. Here's an example of the reversal of fortune. In 1790, the island of St. Domingue was one of the richest places in the world. William Pitt called it the Eden of the Western world. This island, it produced 30% of the world's sugar, more than 50% of the world's coffee. It had a level of foreign trade equal to that of the entire United States, had cities larger than Boston, with newspapers, museums, fountains, paved roads, and so forth. It had a capital city with street magicians and jugglers, a botanical garden, a bathhouse, and bookstores. It had a theater that held 1,500 spectators. So what do we call this island, this Western Eden? What do we call this island today? We call it Haiti, the poorest place in the Western Hemisphere. So what happened? There was a reversal of fortune. Clearly, geography has not changed, but there's been a massive reversal of fortune. By the way, all those riches, of course, mostly were going to the French rather than to the slave labor who were producing the sugar and the coffee. Even taking that into account, however, St. Domingue or Haiti was a rich place in 1700. More generally, the West Indies, India, Indonesia, Argentina, Brazil, Mexico, Peru, Cuba, all of these places were richer than the United States in 1700. You know, you don't have to travel very far to see this. This is a picture of the Church of San Francisco. It's in Lima, Peru. It was finished in 1674. You can see there's nothing like this in North America in 1674, not even close. By 1800, however, a clear trend had emerged in which the formerly poor colonies, such as Canada, the United States, and Australia, these colonies began to pull ahead, and that's what we're going to be looking at now. Here's some places to get more information on the reversal of fortune. 